So far, we have learned how to handle GET and POST requests using Express.js. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how to update an existing resource on the server using Express. So, to update a resource on the server, we have two HTTP methods, patch and put. When we use put HTTP method to update a resource, we need to send the entire object which we want to update with the request body. But with patch HTTP method, we only send partial object with the updated property values with the request body. Let's understand this with an example. Here, I'm in the Postman tool. Let's go ahead and let's open a new tab. And let's say we want to update a movie with movie ID as 3 in the movies.json file. So for that, we need to make a put or patch request. So let's first try to make a put request. So when we make a put request, we also need to specify the URL. So it's 127.0.0.1 colon 3000. So this is the root URL slash API slash V1 slash movies. So this is the URL. Now, in order to update a movie, we also need to provide an ID. Based on that ID, that particular movie will be updated because we don't want to update all the movies at once. We only want to update a single movie at a time. And to update that single movie, we are going to use its ID. So here to this endpoint, let's also specify the ID of the movie which we want to update. So let's say I want to update a movie with ID 2. Now, in order to update a movie with the put or patch request, we also need to send the body, the body which will contain the updated data. Okay, so here we want to update the movie with ID 2. Now, if I go to VS Code and if I go to movies.json, here we have the movie with ID 2. Let me copy this movie object. Okay, and let's go back to Postman. So here, let's go to this body section. Let's select draw and from here, let's select the format as JSON and let's paste this object. Now here, we don't need this ID. And let's say this is going to be our request body. So this is the body which we want to send with the request. And in this body, we want to update the release year. So if you notice here, this movie object has a release year and current value is 2014. Let's say we want to change the value of this release year to 2018. So for that, we can specify that in this request body. So here, let's set the release year to 2018. All right, and this release year is the only property which I want to change. I don't want to change the name of the movie or the duration of the movie. I simply want to change the release year of the movie. Now, since I'm using this put HTTP method here, even though I'm only changing one property in this object, I still need to send the entire object in the request body. But if I use patch HTTP method here, in that case, I don't need to send the entire object. In that case, I can only send that property in the request body, which I actually want to update. In this case, this release year property. So this is the difference between put HTTP method and patch HTTP method. In this lecture, we are going to use patch HTTP method to update a resource on the server. So what we want is, we want to create an API and when a request is sent to that API, we want to update a movie resource. So let me scroll down and after this post request, let's go ahead and let's create that API. So on this app object, we have this patch method and we also have this put method. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to use patch method. And both put and patch can be used to update a resource. All right, now to this patch method, the first argument is the endpoint to which we want to make a patch request. So here I will copy this URL and again, to update a resource, we need to identify that resource with some unique value. If I go to this movies.json file, you will notice that each movie object here has this ID property and each movie object has a unique ID value. So we are going to identify the movie object which we want to update using its ID. So here to this endpoint, to this URL, I'm also going to specify a route parameter, the ID route parameter. And since it is a route parameter, we are using this colon before it. The second argument of this patch method is again the route handler function, which is going to receive the request and response object. Okay. Now inside this route handler function, we want to write the logic to update a movie. Now, first of all, we want to update the movie based on its ID. So that ID we are going to receive inside this ID parameter. And to get this ID parameter, on the request object, we have this params property and this params property is an object and this object is going to have an ID property because here we are specifying an ID route parameter. So 
this parameter, this ID will be created as a property on this params object and it is going to store the value which the user has passed while typing this URL. And that value will be a string value. So let's first convert it to a numeric value and for that we can multiply it by one. Okay, so this ID value which is a string, it will be converted to a number type. Let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable and let's simply call it ID. Now, based on this ID, we want to find that movie object which we want to update. So here we have this movies array and in this movies array, we have all our movies object. So I'm going to use this movies array here and on this movies array, I'm going to use find method. Okay, so using this find method, I am going to find that movie which has this ID. The ID is stored in this ID variable. For that, let's specify a parameter here. So I'm going to call it EL and then we need to specify a condition and whichever movie object will satisfy that condition, that movie object will be returned by this find method. So here the condition will be EL.ID equals this ID variable. Okay, so this find method is going to loop over this movies array and for each iteration, it is going to pass the current movie object to this EL parameter. Now, if that movie object has the ID same as the ID which we are receiving in the URL, in that case, this find method will return that movie object. But if that movie object does not have that ID, in that case, it will start the next iteration. Okay, so basically this find method is going to return us a movie object. Let's go ahead and let's store that movie object in a variable and let's call it movie to update. Let's try to understand this with a diagram. So consider this as the movies.json file or the movies array. Okay, and here we are writing our patch API. So the first thing which we have done is we have converted the ID value to a numeric type and then we have assigned it to this ID variable. So let's say for this ID, we are passing four. Okay, so this ID variable will be assigned with the value four. Then in the next line, we are trying to find that movie whose ID matches the value of this ID variable. Basically, the movie object whose ID is 4. So in this example, this object has this ID 4. So this object will be returned and it will be assigned to this movie to update variable. Okay. Now what we also want is we want to find the index of this movie to update object. So Let's go ahead and let's create a variable called index and to get that index on this movies array, we are going to use index of method. Okay. And to this index of method, we are going to pass this object. So this object is basically this object in the movies array and the index of this object is three, right? So this movie object is at index zero. This movie object is at index one. This movie object is at index two and this movie object with this id4 is at index 3. So here this index of method is going to return us 3. So this is just for example, if the id is 4 in that case, this index will be 3. Okay, so we have the movie which we want to update. We have its index number. Now let's go ahead and let's update the movie with the updated properties which we have received in the request body. So this request object is going to have a body property and in that body property, we are going to receive the request body, the body which we are sending here. Okay, so this object we are going to receive in the request body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use object.assign. Okay, so basically we use object.assign to merge two objects. If those two objects have completely different properties, in that case, a new object will be created and that new object will have properties from both first object and the second object. But if those two objects have any common property, then that property in the first object will be updated and its value will be set with the value of that property in the second object. Let's understand this. So for the first object here, let's pass this movie to update. And for the second object, let's pass the object which we are receiving in the request body. So here let's say request.body. Now what will happen here? Let's try to understand that. So here in the next line, we are creating the index. Okay. And then we are using object.assign method. So here what will happen is this movie to update is this object where the release year is 2018. And this request.body is the request body which we are sending with the request. And in there we have set this release year to 2020. 
So since we are using this object dot assign method here, these two objects will be merged. And in the first object, this release year property will be updated with the release year property of this second object. So in the first object, the release year is 2018. And in the second object, the release year is 2020. So in this object, this release year will be changed to 2020. So now this movie to update object, it has a release year with the updated value. So now what we want is, we want to write this updated object in the movies array. So for that, we can write something like this. So the reason why we calculated this movie index is because here we want to update the movie object at that index with the new movie object. So here this movies of movie index. So basically if you see this movie index is assigned with the value three. So this movies of three is going to return us this movie object. And in this movie object, the release year is 2018. Now what we want is we want to update this movie object with the movie object which we have inside this movie to update variable and inside this movie to update variable the release year is 2020 so in the movies object this object will be replaced by this object okay and there we will have the updated value so let's go ahead and let's write this line of code in our route handler so here let's say movies of and we are storing the index inside this index variable so let's copy this index variable Okay, so this movies of index is going to return us that movie object which we want to update. And we can assign it with the updated movie object. And we have that updated movie object inside this movie to update variable. Okay, finally what we want is we want to write this updated movies array inside this movies.json file. So for that, on this fs module, let's go ahead and let's use this write file method. Let's pass the path of the file of this movies.json file. So I'll copy it from here and I'll pass it here. Then the data which we want to write to this movies.json file. So basically to this movies.json file, we want to write this movies array. And before writing it, we want to convert it to JSON data. So for that, we can use this json.stringify method. And to this json.stringify, we can pass this movies object. So in that case, this movies array will be converted into a JSON data. And then we want to write that data to this movies.json file. And once that data is written, we also want to execute a callback function. In this callback function, let's say we are going to have an error object. We are going to receive an error object if some error occurs. And from within this callback function, we want to return a response. So to return a response here, I'm going to copy this line of code. Okay, let's paste it here. So here we are basically setting the status code. Since this is a patch request, the status code should be 200 and not 201 because 201 stands for created when we create a new resource. Okay, here we are updating an existing resource. So in that case, the status code should be 200. And inside that we are using the JSON JSON formatting. So here we are passing an object in there. We are using the status property and we have set it to success. And then we are also using this data property. And inside that data property, we have this movie property. And to this movie property, we want to assign the updated movie. Basically, in the response, we want to send the updated movie. And we have that updated movie inside this movie to update variable. So let's assign it to this movie property. All right, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman and let's test our API, our patch API. So here we are using this patch HTTP method. Let's say we want to update the movie with ID2. So if I go to VS code and if I go to this movies.json file here, the movie with ID2 has the release year 2014. So we want to change it to 2018. Okay. So here we are passing the request body. Let's click on this send button. And you see in the response, we are receiving the movie with ID2 and there the release year has changed to 2018. Previously it was 2014. Let's go to VS code and let's check if that value is updated in the movies.json file as well. So here we have our object with ID2 and in there you will notice that the release year has changed to 2018. Previously it was 2014. In the same way, let's say we also want to update this movie, the movie with ID5 and there we want to change the name to let's say home alone. Okay, so the ID of the movie is 5. Let's go to Postman. There in the URL, let's pass the ID as 5. And what do we want? We want to change the name of the movie to 
home alone so that is a string value so here let's say home alone okay if i click on this send button again a patch request will be sent to this url where the movie id is 5 and for that movie the name should be changed to home alone currently it is test 2 if i click on this send button you will notice that in the response we have received the updated movie and there the name is home alone if i go to vs code there also you will notice that the name has changed to home alone okay so our patch api is working as expected let's also go ahead and save this request and let's call this request update movie and let's save this request inside this my collection all right so using this api we are able to update the movies but what if if i pass an id for the movie object which does not exist for example instead of 5 if i pass let's say 23 in the movies.json file we don't have any movie object with this id 23 so if i try to update that movie if i click on this send button you see we are receiving an error and the error says cannot convert undefined or null to object now this error is because if i go to app.js when we are passing 23 for this id value this find method is going to return undefined because it is not going to find any movie object with that id value so in that case it is going to return undefined and we are trying to convert that undefined to an object and that's what the error says here it says cannot convert undefined or null to object right so to handle such error what we need to do is first we need to check if we actually have any movie with the id which the user has provided in the url for that again here i am going to use this if statement and inside this if statement i am going to check if this movie to update has any movie object okay so either it will have some movie object or it will be undefined if it is undefined undefined is a falsy value so when we are using it inside the if condition it will be converted to false on that let's use this not operator to convert it to true and then what we want is if there is no movie inside this movie to update variable in that case we want to send a response with the status code 404 from this if statement for that on this response object let's first set the status code and let's set it to 404 and then let's send a json response and in the json response let's pass an object there let's set the status to fail okay and let's also set a message and there let's say the message is no movie object with id and then the id value is found okay and once this response is sent we also want to exit this function for that let's use this return keyword okay so once this response is sent we want to exit this route handler function we don't want to execute any further code okay with this let's save the changes let's go to postman and now let's try to make a request to this url where the id is 23 so we know that with this id we don't have any movie in the movies.json file so now if we make a patch request to this url we don't have any error and in the response we are receiving this json data so there the status is fail and the message is no movie object with id 23 is found but here if i say 2 and in the body let's say i want to change name to maybe test 3 okay if i click on the send button you will see that here we are receiving the updated movie object and there the name has changed to test 3 all right so this is all from this lecture in this lecture we learned how to implement a patch api when working with express.js and the json file this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day